All right, foes, that is the end of your mock test. Yeah. And in a moment, we're going to go over the results. But how did you anticipate today's mock test? So you said you didn't sleep very well last I night. I did. I was so nervous. <laughs> okay. I kept dreaming about the roads. So it was quite... I'm nervous. I think I failed because of the roundabouts, right? Why? I don't know. I think a car just... I got scared from a car. I hate these too many roundabouts. Ah, uh, okay, all right. Yeah, because they're quite confusing. Yes. So I don't know why I think they're confusing and they're really back to back. Mm -hmm. And they're like mini, which we don't have in Kuwait, which I'm not used to, so it's quite... Yes. In, even in the UK, there aren't that many double roundabouts yeah. where they're very close to each other. So, a lot of people would actually say exactly the same as what you're saying now. Okay. Um, anything else that you were worried about with your mock test? You said you were dreaming about the roads. Yeah. What exactly was it? Is there anything in particular? I think I hate the junction straight ahead. Straight ahead. Which one was that? We didn't go to it. Oh, just down here. Yeah. I call it the tunnel. I don't like that one. Okay. Because it's always busy. Yeah. It's like impossible to cross. Ah, okay, where well, you have to turn onto the main yeah. road. Yeah. Okay. I don't like that one. All right. Um, well, I'm going to cut to the chase. And would you like to know your results now? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Well, congratulations. You've actually passed your mock test. Did I? Okay. Now, there are some, uh, some minor faults here. How many? Uh, so there's 10 in total. <sighs> Okay, you were yeah. correct about the roundabouts. Yeah. Uh, that was right at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to talk about these in order of when they happened. Okay. That's why I was making notes here so that I could do that at the end. Right? Uh, just before I get started, is there any questions that you might have? Yeah, my question is when I was blocking the exit away from the parking. Oh yes, all right, let's start by talking about that because I did make a note of that. So if you look ahead, yeah. see there's a single line here. Yeah. That's the entry to a road. Okay. If that was a single line where you were talking about blocking. Then that would have been a mistake. That would have been a mistake. But it wasn't, it was a double line, give way line across the road. Okay. So that means if you block that section, Theoretically, the person that's coming out of that road has to stop and give way to you. Okay. So you're not doing anything wrong because okay. they need to give way to you. That's what the road markings are telling them. Different to the single line because that's where the main road traffic would Goes turn in. in. Mm -hmm. So if we block the main road traffic from turning in, this is going to block the whole of the main road and cause congestion, which would slow the flow of traffic which yeah. is what we try to avoid doing unless it's necessary, mm -hmm. okay? So, I hope that answers the question. Yeah, that yeah. does so actually, So, you didn't yeah. do anything wrong there. Yeah. Actually, what came up after that double giveaway line was a single line. Yeah, and, and I gave way. you left yeah. it clear. Yeah, so well done, okay? Shall I go through the yeah. minor faults? Okay, so, uh, number one, left turn. So, when we did our left turn just here, I believe it was here, but it would have been one of the first left turns. Uh, the back wheel just gently rolled over the curb. So yeah, I felt that. Yeah. Um, one thing when we did our practice at the beginning, I mean, um, Foz only had about 10 minutes or 15 minutes of yeah. driving from where we met to, yeah. to here. So you didn't have a whole load of practice. Mm -hmm. This is a totally new car. You'd never mm -hmm. driven before. I know how nerve-wracking that feels mm -hmm. even as an experienced driver. Yeah. Uh, plus, you're meeting me for the first time, so there's that added you know, anxiety, oh, who is this person, I don't know them, you know, so it just adds to uh, the way you feel when you drive, okay? Uh, I did notice, though, on that 10, 15 minutes that we were driving, some of your left turns, only some, maybe if you want a statistic, maybe 20% of your left turns, mm -hmm. the back wheel is getting closer, and from what I noticed is, when you're three quarters of the way through a turn, Mm -hmm. So you've started, you're halfway through your left turn, you're now approaching the end of the turn. Yeah. 
you're gently steering more. Oh, instead of taking it where back. you'd like to start to take it back. Yeah. So that's actually going to bring the back wheel in. Okay. Now there was one um, turn which you did perfect mm -hmm. on the mock test. And I actually asked you, how did you feel about that left turn? And you said it was a very sharp turn. Yeah. You did it fantastic. Oh, wow. It is a very sharp turn. <laughs> it was very sharp. It had sharp. a vehicle. Yeah. It makes it even more narrow when you turn in. Yeah. Hence the reason why it's probably chosen on test mm. to see how somebody can cope with a left turn. Okay. There's quite a lot of left turns that they're very narrow on the entry. And if people take them either too fast, which you didn't, yeah. or they don't apply the proper steering control of the vehicle, yeah. they're going to have a problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another thing which people sometimes don't anticipate, and that's going to be something we're going to talk about in a minute, but which you were, is that there might be a vehicle when you're turning into the road that's coming out. Yeah. Um, or there might be parked cars straight away when we turn in. Or there might be a zebra crossing. Yes, yeah. There Any, was one, I think. There, sometimes there are, yes. Mm. Um, so it's, it's, it's all this anticipation which can really help you plan before you've even turned into the road yeah. uh, so that you're able to control the vehicle safely in case something happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, steering. Now, what I've noticed is there's, there's a few different ways of describing this, but I think the easiest way of describing it is actually by asking you a question. Now, from what I've noticed from people which have driven on the other side, so the yeah. right side, uh, like you have from Kuwait, yeah. people tend to get very close to park cars. Oh, was I too close to park? No. Oh, okay. You're the opposite. Too far? Yes. Okay. So that's something that I've seen happen roughly about, let's say, 70% of the time. Mm. You're driving towards, generally it's a bend. Yeah. It's not so much when you're on a straight road. Okay. But in a bend. Now, two of these were right bends. Okay. So we came to a narrow road, which actually has a stream that runs along the side of it. Yeah. Okay. So we turned left, then we turned uh, sorry, we went to the end of the road, turned right, uh, and then we come round. Anyways, the stream's further down the road. A few people have actually failed on it. Let me find the name of it. Uh, it's down this way. Uh, so, this shouldn't take too long, just to find the name. Um, yeah, Cheney Street. Okay. There's the little, it says River Pin. Yeah. This is a very narrow road. Now, as you come towards this section here, where it bends, actually it's sort of here, just alongside the river, it bends right. It's a bit hard to see. Oh, can you see it there? Yeah. So it bends. Mm -hmm. Instead of keeping a little bit more to the left, like you did the whole way down the straight section, as you come into the right bend... I go to the right side. You're in the middle. Oh, yeah, you're middle. going towards the right yeah. side. Not all the way, but you're going in middle to right, where really you want to be keeping middle to left. Yeah. As I much as possible. It's a habit being on the right side. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Um, so we don't really need to go into the whys. It's probably because, like what you've mentioned, yeah. it's a habit. But what's the dangers of being in the middle or on the right side of a right bend? A car approaching. Correct. So there mm. might be an oncoming vehicle yeah. around that bend. And being on that side is also going to reduce your visibility. Yeah, okay. from the car that's coming Correct, up. Yeah. yeah. If we keep more to the left, we're going to see more around the bend. Okay, and then that happened shortly after as well. Okay. So when we got to the end of Cheney, or not the end, but we turned off of Cheney to the left, mm -hmm. there's another very swooping right bend, and more steep than this. It's almost yeah. like a right angle. Yeah, I know what you're talking and about. And we were really... You yeah, I felt that car. one, I felt I was really close. Mm. It was really dangerous because if we did have an oncoming vehicle in that bend, yeah. which luckily for you, we didn't, yeah. didn't, it would have been a serious fault. Okay. okay? Yeah. All right. So that's two and three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Minor fault number four, move off safely. Now, I actually asked you to pull over to the left, which you did an amazing job of doing. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a little bit different to test. However, 
in my defence, these things can change on tests. So sometimes okay. the examiners don't follow everything exactly the same every single time. So then I got you to move forwards. Do you remember to yeah, leave about a car, car length? length? Okay. Space. Now normally that would all be done in one movement, where okay. I kind of separated it into two. I got you to move over and stop on the left. Then yeah. I asked you to move forwards. Normally that would all be done in one. So the examiner asks you to move over to the left and stop and leave about a car length between you and the vehicle in front. All I know in one my sentence. Mistake. What? The car is approaching? No. Oh, okay. So when I asked you the second half to move forwards, mm -hmm. before we move off generally being in a park position... Signal. Good. And? Okay. Check mirrors. Yes. So and we I want did. to have a good look around <gasps> and okay. signal. Now, the signal actually is a good point because although we're not going to move out, we're just going to keep to the left. So I have to signal. We, yeah, right. very Because good. the car is actually very started slowing good. down. Well done, yes. Yeah. So there were vehicles using the main road. Yeah. Yes, we weren't moving out. But they were slowing down some and, of them. Yeah, and they wouldn't really know what we were doing. They might yeah. be confused. So if we have a signal on, we're acting on that information that we've seen by yeah. looking around. And then we apply the signal, which will help those people to understand we're going to keep to the left. Yeah. And then if you feel it's safe, we can move forwards. But would it be safer if we waited until those vehicles actually finished passing before we moved? It would be, yeah, but it was taking long, so I didn't know if it was okay, if I should wait that long, because it actually took. A very good question to then ask yourself if you've seen that. Mm -hmm. You might have just seen that by looking in your mirror, mm -hmm. okay? Um, then will you potentially cause anybody to slow, stop, or swerve? So would you cause anybody or any information that you've seen mm -hmm. to now slow, stop, or swerve? So you know we're talking about those vehicles. Yeah. Would yeah. you cause them to slow, stop, or swerve? Yeah. Then wait. Okay. So when you're on your real exam, if you're going to move off, just as an example, yeah. and you have seen that there's somebody, yeah. maybe they're a mile away, you're okay. not going to cause them to slow? Is a, a, a major mistake. Can be, can okay. be. Now, I gave you discretion, which mm -hmm. examiners can give you, mm -hmm. because I actually didn't sort of follow protocol. Mm -hmm. I didn't get you to do that all in one. Yeah. So I took, I shared some of that responsibility there because I had actually asked you to do it slightly differently to what mm -hmm. would normally be asked. Okay. So I thought, all right, we haven't really caused anybody to slow down nothing serious really happened there yeah. however ideally we would like to check a bit more okay. maybe have a signal on there so i'll just put it down as move off safely okay as a minor fault can i ask the examiner if, should i wait for the traffic to go you by you can and would they respond back usually they might respond with a question because Why? they're not supposed to give you dire not direction they're not supposed to tell you how to drive because mm -hmm. you're being assessed on showing the examiner that you're a safe driver. So if they're making decisions for you on what to do, then you're not being examined, examined. fairly. Yeah. yeah. So yes, you can ask is the easy answer. However, the examiner might say to you, what would you do? Is it safe? Do whatever you feel is best. So they're not going to say yes or no. Okay. Any other questions about no. that one? No? Okay. All right, so moving on to number five, uh, five and six, actually. Mm -hmm. Awareness and planning. Now, this was actually when we did that left turn that you were talking about. That oh, Sorry, I asked you, how did that feel? It was quite a sharp yeah, left yeah. turn. Further down the road, there was an oncoming vehicle, yeah. a meeting situation. Yeah. I marked it down as awareness and planning. Now, I'm... The white car. Yeah. I could see it. Yeah. The vehicle in front of you moved through, mm -hmm. but there was a huge gap between you and that vehicle, which the white car could have moved through. Yeah. Now, it actually saw you, and probably because it saw the L-plate, was a little bit more considerate. I think if we didn't have an L-plate on, that it car would have been. been like, what are you doing? I've been waiting. There's a chance. My opportunity. Now it's my turn, and moved through. They moved and stopped. I think it's because they saw the yeah, old plate. I think so too. So maybe being, it seems like you were aware. I was aware, yeah. So maybe planning, you know what, there's such a big gap between me and the vehicle in front of me that's going through yeah. that 
that oncoming vehicle has got an opportunity to now come through that gap. Mm -hmm. Maybe then I'll wait, let them through because they've been waiting. That's right. Let them take their turn. Yeah. And then I would move after. So just a little bit more sort of planning, I guess, not the awareness so much. Uh, the awareness and planning uh, six, number six. Do you remember the red builder's van? Yeah. You told me about the blinking lights, mm -hmm. hazard lights. Mm -hmm. Normally that's for breakdowns, but these are flashing yellow lights, which can also mean a slow moving vehicle. Yeah. So we sh you did what my cousin did about three times before his test, and we oh, were laughing no. in the car yeah. at him, okay? I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> it's but okay. It, it happens a lot, okay? Yeah. Now, when when I was asking you about the builders, and then I asked but you. But they didn't look read, like builders, that's the thing as well. Good. So there was, you know what, I saw this after we moved around the vehicle. So there was those guys that looked like they were trying to break into the pub. Yeah. <laughs> what are they doing? Okay, yeah. I thought they would have. And then I looked just past them. There was actually guys there with like woodwork, like carpenters. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if they were all part of the same team or separate, yeah. but maybe the, the van was part of the carpenters. Anyways, yeah. uh, also when I looked at the van, can you see the vehicle in front? Yeah. See, it's fairly close to the pavement. Yeah. That usually should suggests how close they're the vehicle parking. is that they're parked. Yeah. So yes, we've got the flashing lights on, but that could mean slow moving vehicle. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean that they're parked, which is the improper way of using the hazard lights. However, it is used and people put those on, especially buses, a yeah, big red double decker bus. That's or whatever. why I thought yeah. I got confused because it's thread and there was like lights. So it's just in my head, like yeah. I was like, it's a car, it's a van. And they were quite far out from the pavement. I didn't so they, notice how far. They could but it looked like it was be. like a car going, yeah. turning. Mm. Now, you know we were talking about this awareness and planning. Yeah. Before we got there, I'd seen that vehicle. Yeah. And I noticed it wasn't moving, even though all the other traffic around it was moving. Oh, I didn't notice. And people were going around it like yeah. it was parked. So as we approached it... I didn't notice because I was too focused on the road marking. Yeah. Now, really, most of this will come from more time spent on the road. Okay. So you said at the beginning that you'd had roughly 10 hours of lessons. Yeah. All right, you've got lots of experience in Kuwait as well. But it's completely different. It's different, yeah. yeah. So the more experience you'll have here, the more builders you see. I'm yeah. sure next time you see a builder, you're going to go around him. Definitely. Go, I yeah. remember that. Yeah. yeah. So it's just about gaining those experiences and then that helps you to make a better assessment mm -hmm. that's why doing mock tests and driving lessons can be useful okay because mm -hmm. you just see it even if you've got uh, an instructor that's not so talkative mm -hmm. yeah just being behind the wheel and you making decisions and seeing things happen just get lodged in the memory bank mm -hmm. and then they'll be there next time you're ready to take a deposit yeah withdrawal <laughs> <laughs> my analogies right okay now we're moving on Seven, this was your reverse on the right. Yeah. You pulled up on the right, a little bit wide, new okay. car, fine, okay. yeah. When we were reversed back, you did mention before we started filming that you have seen a reverse camera on a vehicle before. Yeah. As we reversed back, I used that when you finished the exercise. It was like this. It was a little bit out, yeah. yeah. So you were probably a bit more like that far away from the curb than maybe half you know yeah so. and I knew that even when you asked me are you come to I'm like yeah that's the thing with me is I just I'm impatient impulsive so I just wanted to get it done with which is probably the reason why I get like lots of mistakes okay yeah right. because I'm I was aware with the, of the car but I just wanted to go because just wanted to get it done okay. and the parking I knew it was mistake I knew the back was out mm -hmm. I literally knew it I saw it but I was like I'm fine yeah so it's on your habit. exam, the examiner yeah. may say the same sort of phrases that I use. Which I would say the same thing, that's the thing, yeah. So next time your examiner says, excuse me, are you happy with your positioning? Are you finished your maneuver? You could use that to kind of think, why are they asking me that? <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh no, you know what? I think maybe... Maybe, I'm not saying for sure, but maybe they've asked me that because I'm a little bit wide. Or maybe I'm not in yeah. the parking space or That's whatever true. exercise you're doing. Mm -hmm. And think, oh, sorry, um, 
no, I think I need to move a little bit more. I need to get a little bit closer to the curb. And the examiner will probably have a little half smile and be like, she's got the point, you know? Yeah. And uh, go ahead. Obviously, okay. just make sure it's safe and keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The two car length distance doesn't have to be exact. Car length, yeah. You know, where you said, all right, I think I'm two car lengths back. I was like, yeah, okay. You know, it doesn't have to be exact. If yeah. you went more, fine. But the objective is to see that you can do that safely. Yeah. Yeah, and that you end up in a safe position that we're not, which you weren't. You weren't hanging out mm, yeah. with the back of the vehicle halfway in the middle of the road, which would be serious, yeah, because that would obstruct the traffic and potentially cause an accident. The thing is, when I was reversing, for some reason, I just turned the, the wheel. Which I, I turned it to them like, oops. Okay. Yeah. You can always just take your time and stop and see that, change the steering. Okay. Uh, whatever it is that you need to do, go back a bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, just take your time, relax. Mm -hmm. That's the hard part. It's to relax. <laughs> a lot of people got that anxiety and that can cause people to rush especially towards the second half of the test I've noticed yeah. it's not happening with you but when people are on exams second half is like they're on fire yeah <laughs> I, I don't know why yeah. Yeah. so that can happen right okay number eight and number nine mm -hmm. double roundabouts undue hesitation first roundabout and second roundabout yeah have you ever heard of a blocker car? I've heard it and I saw it going and I was like, oh, I missed it. What is a blocker car? Folks? It's a car that blocks an oncoming vehicle. Let's say if it's a roundabout, you should look on the right. Uh -huh. So that car blocked the right car, Very which good. I should have just went. Good. And you had that on both roundabouts. I noticed it on the first one. I don't think I noticed the second one. The second one, good, um, was many vehicles that were turning right from the left oh okay so, so those, they blocked them yeah exercise caution because there's a possibility that instead of them turning right they might actually loop back yeah. around the roundabout that can happen yeah it's a bit tricky for a vehicle to do that on such a small roundabout because they'll either have to be such a small vehicle okay. that they can actually perform that turn yeah or They'll have to signal, I think he's going to come and talk to me, signal and then take a really wide, wide circle round to yeah. get around it. Um, okay. Right, uh, so that's that. And lastly, number 10, steering. You know the, the right term we did when I asked you, do the roads feel familiar? You said yeah. yes, just here, the coming chamber, back. Chamber yeah. anyway. uh, we actually did this one when we were off camera and on yeah. practice. You knew it, yeah. right? So when you were doing that right turn... I was too much on the right. Yes. I knew that. Yes. Yeah. So instead of keeping your... That happens a lot here at this last turn yeah. here, coming back to the test centre, and this last turn. So yeah. all these last right turns coming back to the test centre, a lot of people they will do that yeah, on the I, test. Yeah, I thought. And instead of keeping sort of middle left mm -hmm. or left, they will now go like you mentioned. I knew I have a reason why. It's because there is no road markings to separate. Yes. So you just can't get distracted of how close you are, especially mm -hmm. that there was cars on mm -hmm. the other side. So to me that was the reason. Mm -hmm. Like I but I knew driving that I was too close, but there's like no going back. Yes. So I knew that I was too Very close, good. but I was like, I'll just continue. Mm -hmm. yeah. and do your best to try and be Mrs. Perfect. Not easy. Yeah. We're not perfect. Yeah. I'm not. Nobody is. Yeah. But for your exam, they just want to see that little bit of extra showing them that you know what you're meant to be yeah. doing and keeping there. You're not doing anything dangerous. Yeah. But the technical side and the safety side is if there's a vehicle coming that we can't see, yeah. We're now in a position where we're going to cause a hazard to that vehicle and it potentially could make an accident. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're going to fall back on. You know, we mm -hmm. can argue this and I would agree with you. However, the examiners can now say you failed because you turned too early at yeah. the very last turn, yeah. which I've seen happen so many times <laughs> to people on their test. One of the, uh, just, we'll leave off now, but one of the situations was uh, the very last turn, not at this test centre, 
turned in, turned in too early, went over the centre line when they didn't need to, into yeah. the oncoming. And the examiner said, have you been driving a bigger vehicle when you've been doing practice? And they yeah. said, yeah, I've been driving a van. Oh. And they said, oh, I could tell because the very last turn you did, you turned too early, like you've been mm. driving a big vehicle. And I gave you a serious fault for it and you failed. Oh, no. That's that like my worst nightmare. Okay, yeah. so although the whole drive, which your drive was very comfortable okay. and very good, okay. uh, and you have passed, so congratulations, well okay. done. Okay. Um, don't give up until you've switched the engine off at the end of the exam. So for anybody that's still watching, thank you very much. If this video has been of any value, please tickle the like <laughs> button. All right, and feel free to subscribe if it's of value because there will be more mock tests coming. Yeah. Um, if you are still watching, don't actually give up to the very end of the exam because some yeah. people think, oh, I'm back now, it's over. No, yeah. it's not until the end. All right, is there anything you'd like to mention before we finish off? Um, just subscribe. Love it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. And um, yeah, well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. See you on the next video, which you might want to go and click here, right actually on top of my body, because <laughs> that's where this picture is. All right, see you there. Bye-bye.